Hi, I'm Abby at Two Wheel Centre and we're going to take a look at the Rafa 90 today. Now this is HJC's new flip front lid, part of the Rafa family and I've mentioned on another video, some people say it's Arthur, I say it's Rafa. If you disagree with me then drop me an email, we can have a bit of a discussion about why I'm right. Um, but the Rafa 90 anyway, this is HJC's new and uh, premium flip front lid. So in terms of features, it's got this PIM, which is a premium integrated matrix shell. That's Kevlar, carbon fibre and organic fibres all mixed together to produce what is a very strong and surprisingly lightweight uh, flip front helmet. So this helmet comes in at around 1500 grams, depending on the weight, uh, sorry, depending on the size. And having compared that to AGV and Kberg flip front helmets of a similar size, this is amongst the lightest there. Marginally, albeit, but it is the lightest there. So. It's a lightweight uh, shell size, it's, it's a lightweight shell but it's got three shell sizes so extra small to small is one shell size, uh, medium to large is another and then extra large upwards is your third shell size. So what that means is that you're able to have the lowest weight possible for the helmet size that you wear. So if you're an extra small you'll get a smaller shell which is lighter than the extra large shell. But equally if you're an extra large you need that extra space you get the shell that fits you at the lightest weight possible. In terms of ventilation, the uh, Rafa 90 benefits from a chin vent here, open and close. A, chin, uh, a vent on the top of the helmet with two ventilation points underneath there, massive scoop of air into there. And also an open close vent on the rear, which is quite unusual actually. But what that means is that if you ride in all weathers, particularly cold weather, you can shut the whole helmet down and make sure that you have your own little warm pocket of air for your head. So that's quite a nice design there from HJC. The visor is um, a 3D visor with a locking catch at the bottom, so you can lock that into place and then you've got a nice secure fit there. Uh, but equally you can have it slightly open if you just want a, a little bit of air coming into the helmet, or of course all the way up if you wanted that. The helmet benefits from HJC's rapid fire system uh, on the visor, but actually it's, this is the third generation, so it works very slightly differently in that there's a lever that you just pull down, so simple, one side and two sides, just pull that lever down and the visor pops off and you may be able to just see that mechanism there, it's as easy as that, very very straightforward. We also have on the inside of the visor here a ridge running across the top and what that, uh, what that does is you're able to fit a pin lock in there, one that is supplied with the helmet as well. Uh, that sits inside that ridge there and it allows the pin lock to have breathing space between the helmet and uh, the, the rim of the pin lock when the visor is moved up and down and that saves the pin lock in time. If there, if there weren't that ridge there the pin lock would catch on the grime and the dirt at the top of the lid there and it would in time damage the pin lock so you'd have to replace that. But with that ridge it takes away that problem. We've also got an internal sun visor which is operated by this mechanism just on the side here. Easy to operate with gloves on, it's, it feels like a, a rubbery material so that's nice and easy to operate even with leather gloves on and it's got good full coverage there as well. So have a look at the internal of the helmet now. Now something to note about HJC, and I'll, I'll say this about the the shape of the helmet initially. It's very streamlined, you can see even where it's got uh, the joint for the chin bar, it is streamlined, there's not any nasty parts sticking out. And this is the benefit of having a wind tunnel, HJC are one of very few manufacturers to have the benefit of a wind tunnel. So this helmet is optimised in terms of its airflow and in terms of its uh, noise. So if we have a look at the underneath of the helmet, you'll see exactly the result of this. What you've got here is a very, very small opening. So hopefully you can see that on camera there. And that's achieved in a few ways. First of all, the cheek pads here have got inbuilt uh, curtains to sit close to your neck. This means that you don't get that rush of air past your neck that you would get with other helmets. And you've also got, just at the front here, a very large chin curtain. So that is completely customizable. You can take both out, like so. It's very firm Velcro as well, so it's not going to go flying down the road without you wanting, uh, wanting it to. So you can take that out and have more coverage, or you can have just one part of it in, like so, for a little bit more coverage, like that. Or if you want the whole hog, you want to be nice and secure, you can have all three in, like so. And you can see that now that butts nicely up to the chin strap when that's fastened and you get a nice close seal and all you've got room for really is your neck. No room for excess airflow there. 
So that's a good design from HJC. We've also got uh, a quick release buckle system here, aluminium fastening, so lightweight again. And then the internals of the helmet, which are fully removable. And I'll show you those now. So we'll just strip this helmet down. As usual, the cheek pads have three press studs. One, two, and somewhere near the back, three. There we go. And then you just pull them out from the edge of the helmet like so. Now, one bit of feedback I would have about this helmet is that the cheek, uh, the chin straps take a little bit more getting out of the cheek pads than, uh, than other helmets, but that's because they're so well integrated. So it depends what you want there. If you want a nicely integrated cheek and chin strap, then this is a good helmet for that. If you want something where you can whip the liners out super easy whilst you're cooking tea and um, tending to the dog, then this maybe isn't the helmet for you. But it is a very comprehensive helmet in many respects. So you can see there that it just takes a little bit longer than some other helmets may do. It's a 3D lined cheek pad here. And again, you can see that this is integrated so that you keep that uh, wind noise down. What we've also got as well is reflective panelling which sits just at the base of the neck here. So uh, as traffic's behind you that will reflect and um, brighten you up like a Christmas tree. You've also got a removable crown liner which is just to pull out from the front here, uh, sorry from the back and then from the front of the helmet just pops off. That is really easy. And what you also have here, um, you may or may not be able to see it, is dual density foam there so that provides extra comfort um, and an extra close fit in, in the areas that you need it. Right let's have a little look inside the helmet. What we have here is a removable piece for intercom systems either side so if you're uh, if you're riding an intercom system you can take that out and customize it again for you and the, I should also add as well there are glasses grooves so if you're a glasses wearer do not fear. And you've also got, and you may be able to see, large channels that run through the helmet there for the airflow. You may or may not be able to see. Pop it that way as well. So there we go. So it's a very comprehensive lid, very lightweight lid for, uh, for a flip front. They're not known for their lightweight uh, nature, a flip front helmet. Um, but this is it's quite an impressive lid, but you would expect nothing less from the Rafa range. Uh, one final point is the chin bar. It's just so easy to work. Just a simple press of the button and you're up. Uh, one button, button at the bottom and it's that simple. So lovely lid, again we've sold HJC for many years now, it's always been a very reliable brand for us, always high quality, have very few issues with them so I have no hesitation in expecting that this would be the, um, the same. And I should also add as well that there is a five year warranty with HJC helmets, uh, so not only do we put our confidence in them, they put their confidence in their, their own product as well. So that's a, a really good uh, feature from the HJC Rafa 90 as well. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Very happy to help as always. Um, you can get us by email through our website www.twowheel.co.uk or give us a call, pop into the shop. We're happy to have a chat with you about any of the products that you see uh, on our YouTube videos. Alright, thank you.